catch up. I, I, I'm, I'm constantly thinking, yeah, yeah, I don't have that background. I'll just listen a little longer. It's going to start to be clear. And I'm catching up, and, you know, I'm open anyway. So I'm not having a problem with what you're saying. I'm just trying to understand where it's coming from so that I can start putting it together. That, that was my problem last night. I said, as soon as I walked in, I said, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I, I really can't. Yeah, to stay here. We're tired to listen to this. We're tired to listen, and and I missed ninety percent of everything that was said last night because I I knew when I walked in the door I, I didn't want to do this, you know, and so it wasn't about shut down. It, it wasn't, wasn't about, about being tired. Being physically tired. It was yeah, about I not wanting. I could have just put myself in that very same mode because I literally said, "Oh, I don't need to And yeah. um. And I was tired, but yet we were up till 12 30 last night, and I, I felt awake when I probably should do this. <laughs> but, you know, I, I chose, it was a choice. Yeah, this whole thing of, of resistance or fatigue, yeah, that's kind of to be expected as you're going into these ideas. That's what happened. I know that was probably my major defense when I would work with the court was. I would just read, 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 be excited, and then it would feel like the lead weights were <laughs> like on the, the eyelids, like, ooh, this one is going on. And we, we will take periodic breaks. I feel one coming yeah. on <laughs> very thing. quickly. But again, too, it's, it's just to look at those thoughts even with that, because that's what I would do. Instead of fighting myself a lot of times when I was feeling that with the course or whatever, I would, I would go take a walk or... Take you know, a snooze. Knee, take a snooze. Go call someone on the phone. I wouldn't sit there and, and kind of like try to fight the ego because the ego likes to fight. Mm -hmm. it's the same with meditation. When you're trying to just be still and you have a lot of chatter going on, it's it's nice to hang with it for a little while just to see if it passes and you can kind of get beyond that. But it's not really helpful to continue pushing on saying, I will. If I have to sit here for an hour, <laughs> you know, kind of fighting against it. But I think that's another good thing just to point out as we go into that. And then there's another, I don't know, area or space or level or whatever where there is no effort put into it because the more you effort at it, the more it sort of falls apart, you know, because that's not what you do, you know. Again, I guess it gets back to that wanting to do something and in the area of ego does that doing get done and not necessarily in that area of the spirit because that's a place that I see more of being than doing you know a uh, state of mind and a way of at least that's a wrong and right mind perception because you're still at that level so if you can just choose to be right minded and change your mind and have that you know take care of seeming to be tired that's great. And if you feel like you need a little help, <laughs> a little outside help, as it were, to do that, whether it's getting up and taking a walk or whatever, do whatever, whatever seems helpful. That's yeah. another thing, too, it's good to mention that, that when we're doing this, it's a real free-flowing kind of thing to going into this, and there may be times where even one person may seem to, to want to do that and that's fine too. You don't, I don't have to wait, and wait until we yeah. all take a break at the same time yeah. or something. If you I don't have expectations and, and we don't have a lot of expectations of having to think, well, I really could do with a stretch or to go a cup of coffee or the bathroom or something. And, and all those things about group expectations, but we're in the middle of a group session. So <laughs> I'll hold it or I'll, you know, this or that. It's real free flowing because we're going to be going so deeply in things and, and things like that will come up, so feel free as we go along at any time to do anything like that. I think the last thing I want to talk about real quick before, while we have the thought, because Ron brought up the thing of efforts, and I think it's something that we could take just a quick look at. Jesus says that um, when the mind falls asleep and it's conditioned to the ego, it is condition to backwards thinking, I call it backwards thinking, where it seems as if what 
is happening out here on the outer ring, or what's happening on the screen, to use our projector analogy, is causative. And the, the state of mind is the effect. In other words, the mind seems to be at the mercy of external forces. That is the, the one characteristic that identifies the ego. That is the ego thinking, backwards thinking. So in one sense, the, the forgiveness is just turning it around. All this backward thinking where causation seems to be on the screen or seems to be external, turning it around like this to see where causation is the mind. That the mind is causative. And that the screen is not causative at all. There's nothing on the screen ever that's causative. And it seems to be, a, that's what the process seems to be of turning around cause and effect. Now, to get to your thing of effort, Jesus says that, you know, if, you, if your mind is aimed in this direction, so to speak, and it's, it's just really attached to backward thinking, that initially it's going to take an effort to turn it around. As you begin the mind training, it, as Jesus will say in the lessons, you know, try to do this, you know, three times a day or four times a day. If you forget, try again. <laughs> you know, he, he really is calling on effort. He's calling on that little willingness. And initially, it takes the effort to start to begin to turn it around. And just like with anything, once you pass the halfway point, so to speak, or once you really start to transfer the training and you start to really remember, oh, I thought the problem was such, 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 but, ah, that's not it. I need a miracle. Help me see this. Help me do this differently. The more consistent you become at that, the more you're able to transfer that to seemingly more specific situations. The mind, that cause and effect gets turned around. Then, it's like, if you really start to complete the turnaround, so to speak, then you, the effort ceases. In other words, you see that, that you see the falsity of the ego and, and the resistance of, of attempting to fight the ego or attempting to, you know, to hang on and justify one's thought system using the perception ceases. And that's the point where Jesus says you start to see that, that the ego and the Holy Spirit are mutually exclusive. Before it seemed like a vacillation. But with, hot, with a lot of mind training you start to see, wait a minute, this is, this is simple. And you withdraw your mind's allegiance from the ego and then at that point there's no effort required. So. So there is an effort that's required for the mind training initially, and that starts to cease. And also, it's not an effort in terms of form, which is what the mind is so conditioned to. I'll push through this. I'll read the course, you know, so many hours each day, and I won't miss, and, and the effort can seem to get transferred to forms and ritual. Oh, that's a signal. <laughs> If that's starting to take place, then then it's, it's like trying to change the form, or trying to do something again in form, or get a hold of a ritual, or you know, change the screen. And that should be our immediate red flag that, wait a minute here, the ego looks like it's getting involved. I'm, I'm giving into the ego if I'm trying to change the screen again. So I'm glad you brought up that whole area of effort, because it's one of those that you have to kind of get a close for it.